Welcome to the Salt Shed. This is something that we've been working on for probably close to five years in reality, but it's also something that from our perspective was something that was very near and dear to us as we were growing up. Being able to come down to the city, this was really kind of that last piece that you would see before saying, oh, I'm going downtown. As we continue to go on in our process of 16 on Center was something that was really important to us, trying to figure a way well, to utilize this as an adapt reuse of an old site that had laid dormant for quite so many years. And to be able to do all sorts of engaging activities out here, be it a yoga class, of course seeing outdoor concerts, to be able to have makers who are doing stuff that's very tactile, that you can actually see them making things. That's why it's also so important to us that we try to keep whatever we can from the original inception of the building and see the differences as we continue to build this place. So back when this was a salt producing factory, you would have these barges that would come up this tributary of the Chicago River, and then it would go up to here, which would bring it into the salt shed. One of the things that we tried to do with the East Shed was to keep the skeletal structure of it as a proscenium for outdoor concerts. And it's a really wonderful backdrop and it allows people to be able to actually go into it and see what a steel structure from the 1890s still looks like. Welcome to the indoor venue at the Salt Shed. The stage will be over here. This is a huge grandstand that will go up three stories tall. As everybody knows, the sign Morton Salt has been there since the inception of the building in the late 1800s. It's something that is tied very dearly to the city, and it's something that we always intended to work with the Morton Company to continue having it be part of the facility. A long time ago, Craig and I realized that the history and the architecture of a property is much better than anything we could do from an interior design perspective. Let's leave the flooring with the two by fours as exposed as possible so people can really see. So it's a talking point when you walk in, you go, oh, those are two by fours that are turned on the side. You're actually teaching people about the great history of Chicago. Once again, trying to keep as much of the integrity of the property as it was built and trying to readapt and reuse as we go into the next decade. From a personal standpoint of being able to utilize the space as intended is one of really the pleasures of being able to do projects like this. One of the greatest things about having this summer series was just the surprise and delight moment of seeing people turn that corner into the fairgrounds and get a first look at this and to see people enjoying the, the afternoon having it almost be that a concert inside is an afterthought of being able to experience being on the river or being able to have a whole group of vendors who are building stuff that is the way that this great city was built. So I really do think that it's kind of a micro center as to how we feel as Chicagoans and I think being able to utilize that space that would really make me proud.